Hello everyone. For this experiment, we need some small glass jars or jars, a bottle of soda pop, matches, some tubing, candle, and some modeling clay. Also, we need a bowl of cold water and a bowl of hot water. Okay, so what we're going to do is try to capture some carbon dioxide and then do some experiments with it. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is take the lid off of that. Go ahead and take the lid off. Okay. Okay, is it flowing? Hold it. Oh, okay. okay. Hold it steady. Steady, steady as we go. Okay, put it down on the table there. All right now we need to make a, well, put the thing in here yeah. and put that in, put that in the, to the clay. We'll leave that here. Can we put the thing in the water first? Put this, mold the clay around it and put it over the top of that. Okay. There we go. Don't plug, look, if this is plugged, how's the carbon dioxide going to go out of there? And that's why I said to form it, form it around there. Now how are you going to get that out of there? We will use a tube. Are we going to use a tube? No, we're just going to use this. You're going to shove it more in there. No, how are you going to get it out of there? How do you, how do you get, use pressure to blow something out? All right, hang on, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Okay, so what we're gonna try again is form the clay around the tubing. There we go, see how we go around it and not push, don't push it through the tubing or else the tubing gets full of clay and it won't fit. Now we're gonna put it inside the soda bottle. Hopefully all of our carbon dioxide is still there. Okay, try to fit it in there and make a nice little seal. So push it in and then kind of form it around the outside there. Don't push it in. You don't need... Okay, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Okay, so what we want to do is put the clay over the top of the jar, or the thing, and just kind of form it a nice little seal over the top. That should, okay, just as long as we got a good little seal. And then push it around a while. Okay, so hopefully that'll allow us to capture all the fluid coming out of there, or the air. Carbon dioxide. Okay, so now what we're going to do, uh, let's see. So somehow, okay, we're going to put this in the hot water. Put that in the hot water. So I'll hold it down like that. Oh, I just want me to. Okay, and put this, submerge this in the water, and then flip it over. Now, take this wire and put it up underneath into that, and it should force the air out. Okay, put this, hold this down up underneath that. If you can, hold it up underneath there. The bubbles going in should force the water out. Try to hold it as vertical as you can. Is it forcing the water out? Okay. Let's see, this really isn't that long. Okay, it looks like it's those bubbles that are going up in there should be carbon dioxide. They didn't say we needed a towel, but we probably should have had a towel. Anyways, okay, so looks like it's <laughs> looks like it's filling up. There. Okay. The air is going in there. Okay, yeah, so nice. So it looks like where's our water at? It's about it's about a third of the way with carbon dioxide, so that's cool. Okay. 
we wanted to fill it all up with carbon dioxide. As you can see from the side, if you look, it's uh, that the water is filling up. What are you doing? side it's about half full of carbon dioxide maybe we should have got a bigger bottle what if we shake it mm -hmm. increase the uh, airflow so each little bubble going in there is uh, should be carbon dioxide coming out of there okay so we're gonna pause and we're gonna be right back if we get this one full we're gonna pull it out of there do some experiments with it as we can see, the jar is almost full of carbon dioxide. There's the water level inside the jar. It's almost pushed all the water out. So that's what we're doing to capture it. Okay. All right. So the the bubbles have pretty much uh, reached their fill here. So this little jar is pretty much full of carbon dioxide. So what we want to do is hold it as level as possible. Try not to fill it. So, and then we're going to sneak our uh, oh, lid on top of that. Okay. Okay, we're going to pull our carbon dioxide jar out of there. Oh, it's still got common. So, get another jar and capture those bubbles to fill that with air or fill it with water. Okay, now we're going to take our jar of carbon dioxide. There should be carbon dioxide in there. Okay. Pull it up. So slowly the carbon dioxide is still coming out. So this jar here should contain carbon dioxide. All right, so now that we have the carbon dioxide, let's, uh, well, so I guess there's still some coming out of there. We're going to do some fun experiments with that. Okay, so since carbon dioxide is heavier than air, when we take the lid off this jar, it should still sit there. Is there still coming out? Yeah, there's still some bubbles coming out. Okay. Can you just let go of the jar or is it going to float away? Probably. Nice well, I mean. Let's just leave it like that and maybe do an experiment with the, with the flames now, okay? Here's a paper towel. Okay, so what we're going to do now, do you want to do this? We have some flame. Now you got to be careful with matches when you strike them, that when you're holding up it's going to like burn your hand, okay? So what we're going to do... Let's get a little piece of wire here. And we can wrap it around. Is it filling up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our experiment is capturing more carbon dioxide. At least from the top, really. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this little flame, this matchstick here, and we're gonna light it on fire, actually. All right, okay. I'm going to take the lid off, and in the jar should be invisible carbon dioxide. Okay, let's hone in on that jar now. Okay, so this is going to be the focal point. All right, so if we take a match, this and be careful with matches. I'm going to lower it into that. Okay, it's burning. It's burning good. Oh, we put it into the carbon dioxide and the flame goes out. That was cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Do you know why? Mm -hmm. Well, matches need flames need. Oxygen. Uh, oxygen. Okay. So do you want to do it? Uh, sure. Alright, so we're going to wrap this little wire around there so we don't burn ourselves. 
okay, to light a match, kind of hold it close to here and strike it on there and then move your hand away and then lower it into there like that, okay? Strike it on the box, hold the match. Hold it kind of a little bit closer because you hold it at the very end, it's gonna break the matchstick. So kind of rub it against that. Okay, now let it go to the wire, to the wire, to the wire, hold the wire. Okay, see it went out. Yeah. That's why I held the, put the wire here, so you would just simply back off and hold it by the wire so it doesn't burn your hand. Okay, anyways. The carbon dioxide has put out the flame. So, technically, we still have a jar of carbon dioxide here. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, the smoke is like sitting in there. <laughs> All right, we're going to light a candle now. And this one should be cool. So, you just simply move back. We're trying to light a candle at least. Mm -hmm. 